Good day everyone! In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the income tax. Income tax to be paid by an individual can be calculated through the calculation process as shown in the flowchart below. Calculate chargeable income, calculate income tax, subtract tax rebate, payable income tax. Individual income tax to be paid is calculated based on the amount of chargeable income. Chargeable income can be obtained using the equation below. Chargeable income equals to total annual income minus tax exemption minus tax relief. Total annual income includes all forms of salaries, bonus, dividend, interest, rentals, royalties, premiums, and so on. However, not all the income received from the employer is taxable. For example, petrol or transport allowance, employee subsidies such as housing and car subsidies, Medical benefits are not taxable. Tax exemption refers to all personal expenses in the form of gift, donation, contribution to government or various organizations. These expenses may be tax exempted but are subjected to certain limits in amount. Tax relief refers to items or expenses which are not taxed for the benefits of the individual or family members. For example, Employee Provident Fund, EPF, Medical Treatment and Education Fee Item of tax relief depends on the policy set by the government and may change from year to year. After obtaining chargeable income, income tax can be determined by referring to tax rate table which is fixed by the government. Income tax is the sum of base tax and tax on the next balance of the chargeable income. Then. Subtract the tax rebate. Tax rebate is given to reduce tax to be paid. There are two types of tax rebate. The first one, tax rebate of 400 ringgit will be given to taxpayer if the chargeable income does not exceed 35,000 ringgit. This is subject to change. Second, the amount of jakat or fitra paid by Muslim citizen. Jakat is a donation to certain group of people in accordance to certain condition. Then, we have our payable income tax amount. Payable income tax equals to base tax plus tax on next balance minus tax rebate. Let's have an example of it. Anjik Hamidi is single and he works as a clerk. His money income is 4,500 ringgit. He wants to calculate his income tax for the assessment year of 2020. Based on the above information, A. Calculate Anjit Hamidi's chargeable income. Chargeable income equals to total income minus tax exemption minus tax relief. The total income of Anjit Hamidi is the sum of his annual salary, 4,500 ringgit times 12 months, and a 5,000 ringgit bonus that he received at the end of the year. Tax exemption includes donation to IRB, approved welfare center amounting to 250 ringgit. The table above shows the tax relief item for Injit Hamidi. These expenses are subjected to certain limits in amount. There are 9,000 ringgit for individual, 1,900 active for lifestyle, 7,000 ringgit for EPF and life insurance. This tax relief that is eligible to be claimed is 7,000 ringgit despite spending 7,460 ringgit, 1,322 ringgit for medical insurance, and 70 for SOXO. Now calculate the chargeable income of MG Hamidi. We have the total annual income 4,500 times 12 plus 5,000 minus the tax exemption 250 minus the tax relief. 9,000 plus 1,900 XP plus 7,000 plus 1,322 plus 70. The chargeable income for Injit Hamidi is 39,378 ringgit. B. Calculate the income tax to be paid by Injit Hamidi. To calculate the payable income tax, that is, base tax plus tax on next balance minus tax rebate. From A, we have the chargeable income of Injit Hamidi is 39,378 ringgit. Refer to the income tax rate. 
39,378 ringgit is in the category 35,001 to 50,000. Base tax is the tax on the first 35,000 of the chargeable income, 600 ringgit, and 8% to be charged on the next balance, that is 39,378 minus 35,000 times 8%. Then, deduct the tax rebate. Encik Hamidi pay jakat for 100 FT ringgit. We have 600 plus 350.24 minus 100 FT. The calculated result is 770.24 ringgit. Therefore, the income tax to be paid by Encik Hamidi is 770.24 ringgit. C. Does Encik Hamidi need to be paid any addition income tax? or he received assist deduction of PCB refund by Inland Revenue Board? Explain your answer. PCB is the short form of Potongan Cukai Bulanan Money Tax Deduction. PCB is a salary deduction of an employee for income tax payment of current year. The money tax deduction of Injik Hamidi was 20 ringgit. Therefore, the total PCB deducted made by Injik Hamidi is 20 ringgit times 12 month equals to 240 ringgit. Taxpayers should make comparison between the total amount of PCB deducted and tax payable. The income tax to be paid by Enjit Hamidi is 770.24 ringgit. 240 ringgit is less than tax payable. If the tax payable is greater than PCB, thus there is insufficient tax payment. The insufficient tax payment is 770.24 minus 240. That is 530.24 ringgit. This insufficient tax payment of 530.24 ringgit must match to Inland Revenue Board. Therefore, Indeed Hamidi needs to pay 530.24 ringgit to Inland Revenue Board because the deducted PCB was insufficient for his income tax. That's all for this video. In the next video, we will learn what is joint tax assessment and separate tax assessment and related calculation. Thanks and see you.